All right. So we'll look at yesterday's trade right here as we're looking for one right now. Okay, so if we break 69.44, we're gonna look for an arrow entry over here, a retest, the first retracement, and an arrow entry. I'll let it run live in case we get a setup. So here was our short here at 69.66 uh, with the trend chart that we're running right now. So if you're short crude oil from that negative 88 market delta right there, then you could scale right into support of 44. The next setup we're going to look for is a break of 44 as we're running live right now. Break of 44, and then we're going to look for an arrow short over here on our three sim Rico. So let's concentrate as we're looking for that trade setup and the arrow to fire. I didn't want to cover, do this video from yesterday's action while we're looking at today's price action right now. Right now, we know we're already in a downtrend on the trend chart. Here's our trend chart. We're in a downtrend over here. So we're in a downtrend. I'm looking for the, the, my SIM dots to break and my three SIM arrows to fire. So we're short already. Up here, if you shorted the SIM dots, that's your scale contracts. Look for the break. If you're not short any trades right now, let's look for a break retest. So let's go over yesterday's trade as we're looking for this um, setup to, to solidify. Spin this out a little bit, Gerald, for you so you can see a little bit better. So watch this a lot for you live traders. Watch this break, retest, look for the arrows. So only three charts you really need to concentrate on on any given market. I don't care what market you look at. All futures, all stocks, all Forex, all currency. The same exact setup has been working over and over again. We just had one on gold here that fired here a second ago on the arrow. So what we want to do is we'll go over that in a second, but what you want to do, the first chart you want to look at is your trend chart. And that's what we established this morning. We're in a downtrend on crude. That fired off that sell there at 66. And we're looking for a break 44, then an arrow entry right now. But this is your main chart. If you can get, I have a, I have a trend filter built into this trend chart. There's a trend filter built in. So it's unlike any other Rinko bar. Because I'm not going to be, miss any hard trends on any given market, on any given day. There's no way I can miss any hard trends because there's a filter built in to pick up the trend. So if you look at yesterday, the easy way to find the trend, I got three MAs on my trend chart. Moving averages are absolutely worthless, but they're great for trend direction. They're terrible for support and resistance, and they're terrible for crossover buys and sells. They're lagging. They're great for support and resist. I mean for trend direction. So what we're going to do is we look at that small MA. It's a small white MA. And I want to see the 90% of the open versus close. A lot of traders, they look at the highs and lows. Those are amateur traders. You know an amateur trader when they look at the wick of the candle. The professional traders look at the body of the candle, the open versus close relationship, because that dictates order flow. So what we want to do is the open versus close on a candle is the big green box or the big red box. I want to see a 90% candle close with my trend filter built in above my small MA. If I see it above my small MA, I'm in an uptrend. If I get separation where all my MAs, all three, it's above all three, and the open versus close, the buy the candle's not even touching a small MA, you're in the hardest possible trend in the market you can be in. That's when you're going to see runners possibly run hard. And that's a position you got to put yourself in. So the red green arrow right here is where the trend started. 90% candle yesterday closed above it and we had a trend all morning up then the 90 percent candle closed here and then we had a trend all the way down into the late afternoon so we had a bias up all morning to be buying arrow retracements on the upside and we had a sell retracements all the way down all afternoon for a sell that is the most important thing you can do because if you get the trend right you're 50 percent there on taking a correct trade so we got to understand that. Learn how to trade my trend chart. So my trend chart sets a trade up. Now, you see where these arrows are yesterday. This is exactly where we had arrows that fired. I'll show you in a second. The wicks are important only to this. If I see a, 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 the candle coming back down and touching the body of the candle, touching my smaller MA, I know I got a possible arrow firing. Now, here's how you can time it. Now, watch. That's my trend chart. The second chart is my SIM chart. I mean my dot chart. These are my SIM dots. I got red SIM dots for resistance, uh, cyan or blue SIM dots for support. You can change them any color you want. These are very important because 
I want to have that. We know the trend was up because my trend chart was up yesterday morning. So what I want to see happen is I want to see on my on my on my sim dart chart. I want to see a breakout. I want to see us break out above my red resistance, my sim dots. I drew an arrow across. And then I want to see a breakout. I want to see a red candle form on my SIM chart. That red candle form forming is telling me I got counter trend traders coming in the market. I've got novice traders that are counter trend traders. Because any counter trend trader that I ever met, and I've been doing this a long, long time, over 25 years, any counter trend trader that I met have lost. They're, they're constant losers in the market. So I want to play against what they're trying to do. So they're trying to counter trend trade the trend. So that red bar that prints tells me I'm looking for a retracement. Now I'm looking, the SIM dots broke out. I have a breakout. I got a red reversal bar. I want to time my entry on that retest, that retest of my SIM dots. Once I get a retest on the SIM dots, I want to look for an arrow. There is my arrow, the first arrow that formed on the break of, of, of the retest. Okay? So there's my arrow on the retest. All right, so, so here's what we want to do. We want to do a break retest. So this is the arrow right here. That's the arrow that formed. Once that arrow forms, I want to enter the market, put my stop loss two ticks below the swing low. That's my two, two ticks below the swing low. Now what happens is if you look on the next one, get this over so we can watch this trade set up right now. What happens on the next one is what? See how he broke the SIM dots again. The trend was up. Remember, the trend was up all morning. These two, these two big white arrows is where my symmetry dots broke and retested. These two arrows are where my arrows fired on the three SIM Marinko bar, my arrows. So see how we broke out of my SIM dots after the nine SIM was an uptrend. There's my red reversal bar. Told me counter trend traders coming in the market. Look for the retest. It stopped to the exact tick, exact tick. And what happened? Arrow fired right here at the low. Arrow fired at the low. We got a nice move up. Next trade, look what happened. My nine sims in a hard uptrend. I get the candle to touch my smaller MA. What do we do? We broke out of sim dots right there. Green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. Wait, wait. Reversal bar, red reversal bar. Counter trend traders coming in the market. Novice traders are going to try to push it back. We're trying to buy the retracement. What's it do? Comes down, almost stops to the exact tick again. What do we need? We don't buy right on the on the sim dots. We wait for an arrow, fib arrow retracement. These arrows pop up because we're in a Fibonacci retracement on a smaller time frame. There is my arrow that fires off. I want to enter when the arrow closes on the three sim Rinko bar. I want to put my stop two ticks below the swing low, and there you go. So that's how you can time these things. This morning's trade is developing right now. We had a short up here on resistance with trend. So you can take that with negative market delta, which we had. But now I'm looking for the break of symmetry dots, get away from it, retest 44, arrow to fire over here, and then we go to work on a trade right now in this setup. All right, that's how you can do this. You can use three charts, three charts. It's the best way to do it. Use your trend chart first. We are in an uptrend all morning. There it is. Look for the SIM dots to break. Break. Look for them to retest. Break. Retest. And use your arrows to pop in the trade. It's simple as one, two, three. One, two, three. It did the same thing yesterday. Did the same thing Monday. The same exact trade Monday was a short. Same exact trade. All right, Gerald, hold on one sec. Hold that thought. It's the same exact setup. All right, so what we need to do, let me show you the short Monday. Hold on. Just so you get, get in a rhythm of this. We'll shut this off. Let's look at Monday's trade. It's not hard, guys and gals. Tra traders make trading so difficult to understand. It's simple as reading the charts. This is Monday's trade. Here we go. 90% candle close. We're in a downtrend. There's where my arrow fired. Let me show you how it works. Look, we're in a downtrend, right? So what do we want to do? 
I want to let symmetry dots break. This is, this is the downside this time. This is Monday's trade. There's where we broke below the symmetry dots. Break down. We're in a downtrend on the trend chart. Look, downtrend. Don't make it difficult. Now what do we want to do? Look for the retest. There's a green candle. Now we got counter trend traders trying to push the market back up. Novice traders, amateurs, pushing it back up. It stops on the retest. What do we get? There's your arrow. Look at where arrow fired right there. Right on the retest of the sim dots with 9 sim trend. Let's look at the next trade. Next trade. Break the symmetry dots. Close the body of the candle. Close below. We're still in a downtrend. Downtrend. What do you want to do? Let the sim dots break. Break. Let it retest. Where do we get the arrow? Fire right on the retest right there. Simple as one, two, three. Same exact trade that happened yesterday. Only what? Only opposite. Right? We're shorting instead of buying. 